Hi there, Angel here, and today I'll be showing you how to use Resolve to review large Navisworks files that you've hosted on BIM 360 Docs in a virtual reality environment with your team. With Resolve, all you need is an Oculus Quest, which is this wireless device here. It does not require an external computer. It doesn't require any cables. And this means for project teams, it's very, very easy to now use VR to meet remotely. We're seeing Resolve get used by office and field teams with minimal hassle. They just put their quest on and their entire model is at their fingertips at full scale. And it's not even built yet. To get started, uh, you just open up BIM 360 Docs in your browser. You can see my project files here. And I've got a Navisworks file loaded up. This is a fully federated Navisworks file. That means it has a structural model. It has a mechanical model. It has fire protection, architectural. All the disciplines are in there. And in the click of a button, I can get it into a collaborative virtual environment. If you've tried doing in-house VR development, you know that getting such large models into VR isn't easy, especially a standalone device like the Oculus Quest. With Resolve, it's as simple as just clicking a button. There's this VR button that gets added to your BIM 360 viewer. You click it, and that's gonna send everything over to the virtual environment. The cool thing is you only have to do this once. So your BIM 360 admin or your VDC manager or BIM manager for the project, link the model to Resolve once, and then as the team publishes to BIM 360, the model will automatically get updated in the virtual environment. So nobody has to export or you know go through a complex translation process before a meeting. As long as you're publishing to BIM 360, the team can just put on the quest and meet in the latest version of the model. So now that I've pressed the button, I'm going to show you what that looks like in VR. Okay, now that I've got my Oculus Quest on, you can see my Oculus Home menu. This is where I see my applications. And I'm going to go ahead and launch Resolve. Now, once I launch Resolve, uh, I've been previously logged in. So I'll be able to start the meeting that way by selecting the project that I just sent over from BIM 360. But if you've invited outside guests to join, uh, they don't have to log in. They'll be able to join with a six-digit meeting ID, like you see here but I'm gonna go ahead and kick the project off from my project list since I am the host. So now it's loading the model for me. Okay, now you can see this is the model that we were looking at on BIM 360, but now I'm inside of it. And I'm gonna go ahead and kick off a meeting. And one of my colleagues is now going to join me in this environment so that we can review the model together. All right, there's Clara. Hi, Clara. Let's say you're going through with the owner and some of the facilities team, and they're looking at some of this mechanical equipment. They can use speech to text annotations to say, where's the valve that should go here? And you just use your voice to tag that. And now I'm gonna go ahead and place that on the piping there. Uh, so it takes a screenshot and adds that to my running report here. So you can see I've got a list of annotations. After the meeting, Clara and I would get an email with a PDF showing all the annotations that we left and their screenshots, as well as a CSV. But the cool thing is it can also sync back as BIM 360 issues so that we can assign it to someone and we can set a deadline and take care, uh, take advantage of the more advanced issue tracking features. I also want to show you the sketch tool here. So if you and your colleagues are trying to discuss something in the model, you can mark it up using the sketch tool. You can see I'm drawing on the surfaces there. Next tool I'll show you is the start measuring tool. So I can take a measurement here, especially in some of these uh, tight mechanical areas. It's great to be able to see the clearances. And it's very similar to the Navisworks measure tool. I've got the shortest distance between my two points, as well as the axis aligned perpendicular distances. And you can see I get a little readout on my menu there. Because this is a BIM file, I've got access to things like layers. Uh, so I can see the models that have been federated here, turn them on and off, and I can also inspect properties. So if I want to look at one of these structural beams and get more information about it, I simply select it. And now by looking at my menu, 
can see I have a lot of information here. If you want to try this yourself with your Navisworks, Revit, or any other files you have hosted on BIM 360 Docs, head over to resolvebim.com and we can get you started. Thanks.